What's up guys, Mike B aka Phony, this is Indie for Breakfast. Today I have a game called... Oh, hey. Uh, Song Fra. <laughs> I sound like an idiot trying to say it. Sang Freud, okay? Alright? Sorry, French people. I'm sorry. And the French Canadian. I'm sorry. Uh, which I believe actually we're playing as because this takes place in the 1800s uh, in Canada. Uh, and the name is also French. So, uh, Sa Song Fra, uh, Tales of Werewolves, Tome 1. This is a, uh, this is a Nini game that was actually greenlit wrist cheese floating. Right, we'll figure that out soon, I suppose. Uh, this is a game that was uh, recently cleared, uh, greenlit on Steam, and we're gonna see it sometime in March. I also want to give uh, uh, a qu quick shout out, a uh, big thank you to uh, Katie Givens who actually surprised me with this uh, in my gift box. Really, really appreciate it. So I've created a, a profile you see at the bottom, uh, Paul Funyuns, and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into, uh, we'll go new game actually, so you guys can see the uh, the process of selecting different characters. I chose to be uh, uh, Joe's, right? Uh, I guess referred to as Josie by his brother. These two are brothers here. Uh, you get a little bit of story once you actually select one or the other. See, the level hard. Yeah, so obviously you get a little bit of backstory. First off, there's a lot of story here. When you first get into the game, there is uh no, I don't want to overwrite progress. No, let's go back. Um, when you first get into the game, oh I can't back out here. Nice. No! Okay, well. Uh no. There we go. Uh when you when you actually first uh get in, there is a, a pretty a pretty good uh cinematic. Uh, it's it, it kind of breaks down. It kind of kind of gives you a clue as to what might be happening, and then of course you have some story that happens here when you uh, actually begin and play start playing as your character. But I'm gonna see if I can't back out here and go back to selecting uh, the other person. Change profile. Here we go. Paul Funyuns. Now this is their level select screen. Kind of kind of interesting, isn't it? Let me go ahead and click on this here. Get this thing loaded up. Now, uh, the game is available for uh, $14.99, but if you get it uh, soon, you know how Steam likes to do those 10% um, off first week sale type things. Uh, well, right now, it's available for $13.49, which is 10% off of $14.99. So go and check it out if you'd like. But first, let's go ahead and jump into it. I think we have some story coming up next, or we jump right into the game. Exile and Reunion, December 5th, 1858. Ah, some story. As I live and breathe. If it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. Oh. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Wolvesvale says it's my fault. <laughs> Wolvesvale, huh? That's crazy. Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey. Don't just stand there like you're holding up the doorpost. The thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Jacques, Josephine, and Josie. Don't worry. It wasn't my idea to come here, brother. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. <laughs> Aww. Did you hear that? Yeah. Sounds like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. Since you're going to be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will ya? Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. And the only cure is more cowbell? All right. Game time. WASD. Rotating the camera. Uh, shift running. This attacks. Very, uh, fairly simple controls. That is quite the mini map, though. I want to point that out. And I think for good reason. You'll see in a moment, actually. I'll be damned. The horses are dead. And your Wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. The pack must be close by. Well, yeah, Josie's lucky it isn't Wolverine. Let's see, uh, kill the wolf eating the dead horse, sure. Oh, I need to catch my breath? Oh man, come on, getting shaped. <laughs> How do I switch weapons here? Let's see. I have a couple action buttons here. 
Uh, oh, he was carrying six cents? Yes! <laughs> so this is a tower defense slash first person, or third person rather, style game. Um, we played games that have kind of like the story, deep story backgrounds and uh, other action elements. Uh, uh, dungeon, Bridge to quests. the village is burning. Looks like I'm gonna be staying with Jack longer than expected. What else? Uh, Anomaly, I believe, right? Uh, we also have... Combat. Oh, combat training. Hey, hey, hey. Your health is represented by the red... Woo! All right. Uh, well, that wasn't quite what you expected, right? We're back at the calendar. I've already completed a handful of days. I actually went through a uh, majority of... Actually, I think all of the uh, tutorial. We're still going to have some tutorial pieces that are going to pop up for sure while we're actually playing. Uh, now we're going to start on day... Uh, on the eighth day of December here. Uh, but there was... There were so many videos like the one that you saw. The first one you saw there that I decided just to go ahead and cut it there and just continue on afterwards because I figured if they roll one video, they're probably going to roll a video for every single one following that. So it's about, I would say total, you're going to, you're looking at about 20 to 30 minutes uh, of, uh, of complete tutorial time. And then of course, all the story that's going on uh, in between. So uh, real quick as an update there, the, the, um, the, the priest or, or whatever it is that, uh, that Josephine was talking about, uh, that attacked her in the city. Uh, I thought he was like a werewolf or something, right? Uh, turns out he really just wanted to get some of that. And uh, then he exiled her by telling all the villagers that she tried to jump him. Okay, uh, so that, that kind of sucks. Now the devil shows up. The devil shows up and he's like, hey, you seem like you're my kind of guy. So what we should do is, you know, work together. Uh, you just sign this paper and I will take all these people's souls. And in return, you will be able to go uh, to Rome and be part of, you know, doing whatever you want to do over there in Rome, etc. And he was all like, oh, snap, Rome. Yeah, I'm in. And so that was pretty much it. So there's the story so far. OK. Uh, meanwhile, Josephine is clearly under some kind of weird possessed something type thing, uh, which we've not quite uh, figured out what it is exactly, but she's basically, she's seeing things that she shouldn't necessarily see. Uh, like she knows about the werewolves and all that stuff. She's basically just talking, uh, giving you a little bit of uh, filler here. So around chapter four, the rose and the serpent, December 8th, 1858. Ha! Well, hello to my saviors. Lord almighty. What's the matter with your sister? Don't really know yet. Strange things are happening. Dude looks like Jesus, by the way. Tell me about it. I was going to the W. Hood Company to get men to help me fix the bridge to the village, only to find out that the camp had been attacked. We found guys that had been half eaten. Not a pretty sight. They say there are vile beasts prowling around here. We'll see about your troubles a little later, Miller. The important thing is to get the bridge fixed so we can save our sister. Joe, run to the village and get Dr. Lamontagne. Bring him back here as quickly as you can. Josephine is too weak to make the trip. Okay, now check this out. This is actually quite Say, interesting. Sister, don't suppose you saw Dr. Lamontang in the village. My little sister's very sick and I was sent to get him. No, he hasn't been seen in two days. What's more, ever since the church burned down, the priest hasn't been showing himself. He doesn't want to see anyone. You know, there are people who say that your sister is a witch and that it was all her fault. I'm not surprised. So there's nothing you can do for us? The best I can offer you is divine peace. Would you accept my blessings? Bless me. Uh, I'm all yours. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alright. He's like, what, 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 nothing happened. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, this is actually uh, a little interesting. I don't understand why it's, well, first off, yeah, I could, I could bless bullets. It cost me 10 cents, right? Boom, boom. She's all, I will take your money and I will bless your bullets. Uh, but it turns out it actually does, it does something. It actually works. Um, blessing me did nothing, but blessing my bullets will make them uh, relatively powerful against various types of enemies. So here you go. I can bless an item if you wish, only in the condition that is used to defend the cause of God. Blessed weapons, blessed weapons will cause more damage to diabolical creatures such as werewolves and will of the wisp, but work like a normal weapon against other types of creatures. Uh, so I could bless this for a dollar. Um, which will in turn upgrade it slightly, but I am not going to because I need that money to set traps Yes, set traps. I realized that initially you guys did not see all you saw was a third person perspective thing Which I have other issues with uh, which uh, hopefully was just a glitch, but we'll find out 
Enter your shop, click on the building. Enter your house, click the road. So I just go ahead and uh, pick a see, covenant, the uh, convent, convent, <laughs> the covenant. Uh, the church is closed. Uh, the mayor's closed. General store, hotel, saloon, hardware store, blacksmith. You could probably upgrade my weapons and such. Put a little bit of shine on my axe. Or I could buy a new one altogether. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do I have here? Uh, got on you want to sell in your video? The bottom line is what boost price. Okay. Wow. One cent. One cent! Totally not worth it. Uh, let's see. What's the, uh, let's see. One damage, one agility, three range. This one is, uh, more damage, more agility, less range. This one is just all around much better. I can't really, there's nothing, like, seven, hmm. What about bullets? You, have, you buy blessed bullets? They cost me 10 cents to make. You want to buy them for 5 cents each? <laughs> I have another type of bullet here that I'm not yet unlocked. Hey, hey. Uh, let's see. Nothing else down here. Okay, cool. So, really, uh, realistically, I don't have anything I can do. Um, so, let's go ahead. Let's just go back to my house and start on the next uh, wave. So, here we go. No, I don't want to see that. See, we're going to get more and more of these things. Yes, thank you. Um, now, check this out. This is the... The tower defense portion, okay? Remember, it's a third-person shooter slash tower defense game. Uh, think of it as some, something like, something like, uh... Orcs Must Die, but uh, with a bit more of an overhead view. So we click on this, we can see that this this particular wave is wave one. Wave one, wave one. We only have one wave, actually, so don't have to worry about it. Um, as, you, as you go through the days, they're able to clear out more and more of uh, pathways into other areas. You can't, I can't really zoom around the map to show you, but you can look on the right hand side and of course at the bottom to see that there are what look like potential paths so going through the right and then going down uh but those are not cleared up just yet as we progress we will get more and more uh uncovered so we see that uh what is this the the hen house right the barn okay so the barn is gonna be attacked by uh six werewolves on wave one okay and then uh, the the house which is where uh my brother and josephine is at they will be attacked by a werewolf and a bunch of wolves. So, we look at the path they're going to take. That should be pretty easy to fend off right there. Uh, for them, we'll just put a couple wolf traps. Okay, zoom in and place these. So, one, two, three. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and uh, deselect this. There you go. Make our money back on that. Uh, werewolf. Hmm. Six werewolves over here is rough. One werewolf over here, not, not too bad. Let's see which path is he gonna take. Well, that's a bad spot for that. Let's go ahead and place that. So those traps I had placed previously to follow another path for other other mobs, um, for other waves. But here, six werewolves is a lot. So I'm gonna use the uh, the bait feature. Is there an easier way to kind of move maneuver this? Yes, here we go, using WASD. I will place bait. I want easy access here, so I think it's gonna end up being like Right here on this bend. Oh, I need to place a bit more in the open. There you go. Okay, good. Bait there. Then I will place net right over it. I don't think I will need another one, but it might be a good idea to use it. Let's see. Will they fall for the same trick twice? More than likely. Let's go ahead and set them up again. Once again, the bait's going to make them stop. And that's when I could trigger the the net, which you guys are gonna see. It's actually pretty good, pretty interesting. So actually, that's six total. I don't know how many of them I can kill on the way up there. I have 55 AP left to place things, and a dollar 36 to play with. Let's see, these wolves are taken care of. There's three of them. There's three traps. There you go. Uh, this werewolf is gonna get a bit of a punch to the face. Should be able to. Hmm. That's not gonna kill him, obviously. Maybe two traps are more in order here. Remember, if 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 the traps don't kill him, then uh, I, I lose nothing. I get to basically use it again. And uh, let's see. Is there... There is a way. I don't see it here. I know that there's a way to basically chop wood in my free time. Because you see I have AP. AP is basically how much time I have throughout the night. Or how much uh, uh, attack points or attack points I have to spend. Um, excess attack points can be spent using, uh, by chopping wood. Because I'm a lumberjack, I guess I can do that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah, and inventory. This is important. This is 30 minutes worth of stuff you're getting in like two and a half to five minutes. 
This is where I go through and select my inventory, uh, or manage my inventory by putting things into my action bars here that I can take with me. Uh, I have skills, uh, which I have unlocked. So I have uh, one point. Is that what that is? One. Let's see. Require level two. Right, skill points earned. Okay. I don't think I've earned another skill point. I mean, I have actually. Let's see. Skill points required to every kill enemy, enemy melee combat you heal for 2%. See, permits the execution, uh, accumulation of up to two rage points and the execution of an enraged attack causing additional damage. Or your wolf traps hold the beasts, including werewolves and mykins, for 10 seconds. That might be worth it because I will save me money on uh, traps. Because if I have a sequence of traps for werewolves, which will probably take more than one to take down, then uh, if it holds it for 10 seconds, I can come over and shoot him in the face while, you know, he's being held there and thus saving me some uh, money. Now, upper right corner, you see I have level three. Uh, my experience points required to get to the next level, and how much money I have. Life points, stamina, and fear factor. Fear factor is basically how long I have before the enemies attack me directly. Obviously, everything else is pretty, pretty, I mean, self-explanatory. And I have nothing else to put down here. And that's it, and that's me. I'm Paul Funyuns. Let's go. Let's get started. Start the night. Start the night. Easy stuff, right? Pretty in-depth game. Oh, there you go. You have a bullet you want to shoot. Blessed bullets are particularly effective against diabolical creature creatures. Creatures, sure, why not? Monsters wearing cleats. So, let's see. Here I could swap between them up or lower the lower left corner you can see. Do, 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 do. Now, if I can catch this werewolf when he comes out before he gets okay, now he's in that trap. Okay, good. No, he's pissed. Let's go ahead and reload. Quickly, quickly, quickly. He's being held. Shoot him in the face. Oh, the case still held. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, regular bullets. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Now, let's get back to the uh, my base being devoured. It's not going to be devoured forever. Oh, come on. Oh, the base being devoured. Oh, they're, they're going to move on. Okay, just stop, 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 stop. No, 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 I don't want to do that. That was wrong, wrong button. Okay, and we shoot. There's only one? What? Oh, it shot the front one. Oh, I thought for sure I was shooting through that. Oh crap! And he's not gonna stay there very long, is he? Nope, sure isn't. Come on, time for melee. When my axe is on fire, that means I have built up rage. And that's done by hitting with the uh, with my axe here. Okay, I think I may have lost a little bit there. A second, a brief second. The game for some reason minimized when I got a message in Steam. A game that runs on Steam minimized when I got a Steam message in the background. There we go. I hear incoming. And I'm also hurting a little bit. Let's go ahead and take my bottle of stuff here. Let's go ahead and reload. Oh, good. That was it. Awesome. My traps took care of the rest. Ah, so some of you guys may have noticed the FOV. That is a huge problem for me right now. Because I can't run this in windowed. If I could run this in a little bit smaller, a uh, smaller window, I might be able to actually deal with the uh, the FOV being so so narrow. Um, I went looking for an INI file after the tutorial section. I went looking for an INI file to see if it's something I can modify. Went to the forums. Here's the thing: nobody's complaining about the FOV in the forums, so it may just be me. If you're fine with the FOV the way it is, then great. For me, kind of making me nauseous. Uh, it's really really tight. Now uh, you can see this is the screen whenever whatever you. Uh, you survive the night, and uh, I got some money. I got some XP, level four. I'm, uh, I'm yeah, I'm good. I got dollar ninety four total. Eventually, I'll be able to actually buy 
Uh, another weapon. It's kind of nice. But uh, yeah, you can't actually, uh, uh, you can't make a windowed mode. But I did see in the forums that they are going to be supporting other resolutions. So there's not a lot of options in the options menu. It's like it's like an aliasing, uh, HD or a uh, uh, post processing effect, shadows, stuff like that. Uh, but not a whole lot of options otherwise. It's funny the game the game plays and feels like a console port. It's totally not. <laughs> a mill and problems, December eighth or ninth, eighteen fifty eight. The beast did a lot of damage last night. So I'd gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. I was coming back, and since I didn't have any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little at Jackie's. Say Phidias, could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Except for my cabin, my barn, there's just your mill. But the attacks keep getting worse night after night. You're not hiding anything from us, are you, friend? Me? Hiding something? As I live and breathe. In fact, if there's something I would have liked, it would have been for you to help me defend my mill last night. The lumberjacks from W. Hood Company came to take away the downed tree that was blocking the main road. Yeah, so see, you here you go, expansion. So you can get to the mill now. And then, if you help me, I'll help you back putting out your traps. With the three of us, it'll go faster. Sounds like a good deal to me. You can count on us tonight. We'll protect your mill. All right. Obviously, now we're gonna be expanding out. Uh, no, 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 not no more movies. We're done. Uh, spike trap. No, 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 no. I don't need to watch it. I think I can figure out a spike trap. Now you must defend the mill. The miller gives you uh, additional action points, but if the mill is destroyed, you fail the night. If anything is destroyed, actually, you fail the night. So it's not just that. Let's not. Let's not. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff coming from all directions. But I have 300 AP to work with, and I have traps that I set prior that uh, are still up. That is a no, sir. Nope. They've all been consumed, which is fine. That's that was our whole purpose, anyways. Okay, so I have a werewolf here, and some. Uh, these are the grand wolves, not the regular wolves. Okay, I have uh, I have two ways. Let's just look and analyze a uh, wave. Disable wave two. Wave one. Okay, here we go. Hmm. So I have a handful of wolves. So wolves, and these are the grand wolves here. Yeah, grand wolf, they just have more hit points, yeah, as you can see here. 10 versus 30. Uh, and the werewolves, which have 30 as well. The way difference between these two guys is that one is more resistant to uh, to uh, to different types of, uh, of personal attacks and whatnot. These guys, however, you could pretty much just beat, beat to death with no problem. There's like two of them and one of them. So, how do I want to handle this? Uh, the, where's the largest group going to be coming from? Wave one, not not too much to really worry about. I could probably place a couple of wolf traps here. By the way, that clicking sound is the most irritating thing in this game. Am I am I alone here? <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and uh, set up wolf trap here. Twenty action points. Yep. And this guy, what is your path again? Straight shot. So this will take care of both of these. As a matter of fact, I think I start here, so I could actually probably just kill them, honestly. Nothing else comes from this direction, though. It's still wave one, so 30 points. How much damage this guy this thing does? Uh, it does... Fix three points of damage to all other enemies. Okay, kids that kills wolves and grand wolves. Okay, good. So basically, let's just go ahead and set to see what the path... What's your path? Come on. There we go. There we go. Those two are taken care of. No worries there. I set two more here, but that'd be kind of a waste of money since I start here. I could probably just shoot them in the face and I'm good. And then I will run over and take care of these guys. Or I could set some kind of trap or something to, to take care of them. Let's see. It looks 40 points of damage for any every enemy standing on the spike trap when it goes off. Uh, immune creature. Yeah, Will Lewis. It makes sense. Okay. 50 action points. Let's see. You can injure. Da -da -da. Okay. So let's see. You are... Definitely gonna walk right in the middle of this if I place this right about here. And I can't place it right about there. So, we're gonna place it right about- Damn, I can't place it right about anywhere! Okay, so. Let's see, I'm not sure where my next wave is gonna be. I guess we could use the, uh, this, this technique. Which will stall him for a moment. We saw pre previously that this actually did a pretty good job of stalling them for a good amount of time. Now let's go ahead and check out wave two. Lots of preparation here. 
obviously this is all about um capturing these uh I can use sound actually to get him in. I'll show you how the sound thing works. If I remember to do that there. Or if I can actually get over there in time. Let's see. But yeah, lots of preparation. Lots of stuff to do here. Six, there's six of these dudes. Okay, so six of these. I think a bait and um and six of these too. Whew. Wow. Okay. So yeah, let's just do let's do the bait slash this here. Actually, no, I take that back. Let's do the spike trap here. We want to see that in action for sure. Even if we end up not actually seeing it in action. This is 50 points? Jeez, maybe I'll just... Because these guys are going that route anyways. Oh, not really. Ooh, that's kind of a tight squeeze. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, we can use bait. That's why I use bait. Pull them slightly off their their path. Right to that. Perfect. Uh, these guys are just going to walk right through it anyways. And I still have some more AP left. Uh, I guess... I should just... Should I even buy things? See, free. Hanging nets are free. Bonfires are free. Bonfires are nice because bonfires will actually allow you to, uh, let's have a wolf down here at the bottom. Werewolf. It gives you, it buys you time whenever for attacks. So basically, I can use it to kind of heal myself here. Or uh, restore my stamina. Let's go ahead and place one over here. Place one. Actually, yeah, I'll place one right. Oh, there's already one there? No, no. There. Place one right over here as well. Good. That takes care of all my AP. Okay. So, now we're set for, for a match. See how long it takes? <laughs> Hopefully I didn't forget anybody. These are going to be taken care of. These should be taken care of automatically. Uh, this werewolf right here is going to require some uh, some manual labor. Uh, which is fine. And then I have uh, this guy right here. More wolves. Once again, I'll take care of them uh, by myself and that should be okay. Uh, the problem is that if I don't kill this wolf in time, you know what? That is, that is a big enough problem where I actually need to fix that. Let's go ahead and remove this. Come on. There we go. Okay, give me back that AP because I'm, I'm actually going to need something to do some damage to these uh, to this wolves here. Hmm. I could just time a shot with this. There's nothing for me to drag him underneath it except for a shout. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. But let's see what happens. I'm good on everything. I don't have any more of that, that health po <laughs> potion that or didn't bless any bullets. Oh, I didn't buy any bullets either. <sighs> Crap, let's go back. Oh, that's just been a skill. There's a lot of preparation here, isn't there? I <laughs> uh, see. Your shout. Okay, no. Uh, Trapping rules now inflict 10 points of damage. Hmm. Lumberjacking. The action cut lumber for gives you three more cents. Okay, so I've not actually seen lumberjacking. 25% longer to devour your bait. Oh my god. The traps would be nice though. Trap wolf traps now inflict 10 points of damage to werewolves and grand werewolves. Well, we know that they instantly kill grand werewolves right now, so I'm not really worried about it, right? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. <laughs> let's go back, let's go back. Let's go to the town. I need to spend money. So much preparation. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But that's what this game's all about. It's about story. It's about, uh, wow, $2.25 for what is this? A musket, damn. 75 cents? Isn't that thing? That looks that way better than what I already have? Hold on a second. Let's see, discretion. Which means that it's much quieter? Hmm. Reload is one. Reload, okay, the same range. Okay, so that's not that much better. Um, okay, yeah. Wolf fur, fur vest protects one HP per hit and bullets. Let's buy some bullets. Uh, let's buy a bunch. Good. Then we'll back out. Thank you, sir, for your time. Uh, you didn't have any whiskey or anything, huh? Oh, I guess the saloon, maybe? Hotel saloon? Yes. These guys will probably sell my whiskey. They sure do. Oh, what is this? Some beer. 100% stamina over 10 seconds. Uh, damage plus four for 30 seconds. Wow, a rage. A rage potion is what that is. Uh, let's see. 15 cents each. We're going to buy a few. Because that, that seems to be the handiest thing. Uh, and then we'll go to the convent. We'll get some bullets blessed. She's just like, cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah, don't worry, I got you. A dollar for this thing, though, still. Wow. And that's probably permanent damage increase. It's kind of nice. 
At least I hope. If it's not, I'll be pretty pissed. <laughs> Sorry, here we go. Now let's go to the house. Woo! Okay, now we can start the night. All of our traps are set. Everything's good to go. I should have no problem completing this night, I think. So, let's go ahead and do this. All right. Oh, Jesus. Enraged. <laughs> Certain enemies have go. a chance of turning enraged the more you attack them. Once an enemy is enraged, it's much more aggressive and is no longer affected by your fear factor. That's actually a good one to know. Now, if I don't throw up before the before the end of this because of this FOV, then we're gonna survive this. So I was still planning on shooting one in the face and taunting the other one, uh, which is on the second wave. Yes. So those two on the right are going to be good to go. And then I have to run over there and take care of the werewolf. I have to run back and take care of the other werewolf for Warrior Wave 2. This shouldn't be too hard. So over here I have traps. Yep. Did not kill them. Thought for sure they'd be dead. Kind of throws off my game plan a little bit. I thought I saw instantly kills. I was wrong. I'm okay with that. Good. Okay, now where is the, come on tab, I'm holding tab, I'm holding tab. Tab's on point my map, okay. I guess I'm not allowed to view the map whenever I want. I need to get over there, Betty's being devoured. Thank God it's 25% longer. All I have to do is just get within firing range. <laughs> Let's take a little bit longer than I expected. There we go. Oh, too far. Oh, what? No. Why didn't it go off? I don't know. But that bait's being devoured. There's not much time left. You get closer. Look up, look up. Oh my god, the, the mouth controls are just garbage in this. Yeah, come on, bring it. You have one, like, one life, one HP left. <laughs> that was a bitch slap. Okay, so here you go. View map. I can only view it at the beginning, I guess. So, I do need to hang out because there is a werewolf coming this way. I'm hoping. Oh, this guy has werewolf coming the other way as well. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. I don't have bait here, and that that distance between these two points is a little bit longer than I expected. So let's go ahead and do this. I can pull him off of his course by shouting. You see the red circle around my character on the gigantic yeah! map. There we go. Closer, He's gonna come to this point right here. Whoa! Okay, yep. and they're attacking the thing. So that pulls him off the trail for a moment because he's gonna inspect that. Oh my God, gotta get there in time. Go, 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 go. Oh, where's he at? Oh, I didn't reload. Come on, come on, where's he at? Where's he at? Detected, good. Oh. Okay, as long as he's not attacking. Yep, now the mill's being attacked. I didn't necessarily pull him away enough. Okay, let's utilize this time right here to reload. Get up a nice headshot with a silver bullet. Okay, and we'll finish him off. Oh, come on, come on, get up. Good, let's go. Oh, the lumber mill's going down. Oh, lumber mill's down, that's it. Should have used more traps, damaging traps, instead of triggered traps. Ah! Bidius was killed. That sucks. Now, can I can I immediately go back and try it again? I still got I still got XP from that. See, you begin current day again in the morning before you set traps. Bought items requiring new skills. Okay, it's twilight. 
I will keep all of your just as if you don't want to make any major changes to your strategy. Yeah, well, the problem was that I needed to be in two places at once and they were too far away. So I need to set all my traps again? Oh my god. That sucks. We got a Dawn, right? How much is it? How much is it gonna actually set me back a little bit here? Continue. Uh, none of my traps are set. Okay, good. Oh, now it's gonna go through all this again. Yes, thank you. Defend the mill. Okay, good. Didn't ask me if I want to play a video about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just use a bunch of these because these seem to be the most effective at killing things. Let's see, what's your pathing? Oh, why didn't it take them out before? Hold on, let's just read the thing. Let's see. It says, uh, instantly kills wolves and grand wolves. That is a wolf. Okay. But well, we know that these the this setup over here worked perfectly fine. So having this here, having another one here, and having bait in the middle, that was perfect. Okay, because I had no problems from that. Um What I need to do is put bait on this one. To stall this guy. For the brief moment. For a brief moment, rather. Um This is gonna be rough. Because I need to stall one. Yeah, we'll stall them actually right here. Give me more time to go back and forth instead of going back and forth. Okay, good. And I can shout this guy over here on the second wave. Uh, no, 10 seconds I can buy with the trap. Let's see if he's going this way, but his I don't know how far his sense of smell is, is going to carry him. But if I could care, stop him somewhere, huh? I guess this, this this would work. Can't afford another one of these. I need 30 action points for that. Can I sacrifice something somewhere? Uh, Yeah, yeah, actually, let's go ahead and... There we go. That'll give you my hanging net. Hanging net number two. That I can't put there. Okay. It's dependent on, of course, the surroundings. Okay, put that there. This might work out better. And then I guess, oh, the ground wolf's over there. Just delete this. I can only afford one of those. Oh, Christ. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, I know what to do. Here, yeah, we'll set one of these here. Good. And then I'm going to sell the bait for this one because this is on the path. That'll get me enough to, it does not get me enough. Does not. Uh, hopefully, this will work without the bait. Hmm? Okay. Because <laughs> I need those points. There we go. That should take care of them. I have bait underneath all of the other things. Oh, I have bait there. What the hell? Why did I even put that? Oh my god. I think that was a mistake. I think I'm probably good everywhere else. Ish. Just a bit worried that I might need to buy time somewhere. How about I just put this here, right here on the thing? This will hold them there if they get this far. There we go. Perfect. Now let's get started. Uh, oh, I, oh, God, of course. It reset everything. <laughs> they really they really do mean they get to start everything over again, don't they? Jeez, General Store. Sure, everybody, I'll buy some bullets. I'll buy all of them. Thank God. Okay, and we'll go back. See, I have a dollar and some change. Yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll get the, the, the damn thing blessed, my, uh, my axe. That might help. But having bullets blessed is great, but having the axe blessed, uh... We'll see if it actually does anything. And then, of course, we could do a couple of those. There we go, return to town. Now I have four cents to my name. Not worry about the HP potions and all that stuff. Or the alcohol. We are gonna spend my one point, though. That's right, I need the uh, the time for bait. That's really important. Excellent. Now let's get started. It's a long one. Mainly because of the game, you know, it takes time. Okay. Oh, yes. Enraged. Enraged. Hey, escape button works. Perfect. I have a couple wolves coming out of here. Yeah, 
I'll go take care of one. Good. Okay. Excellent. That takes care of that. I have bait that's being devoured. I'm trying to watch the minimap run at the same time. And go. He's devouring the bait. This is good. I'm hoping all my other traps are working out just fine. Let's reload because I'm going to need to do that. Oh, psh, just to go down the right corridor. Oh my god, moving this thing makes me nauseous. Let's see. And you see the one indicates that there is somebody underneath. There. In this case, it is that guy. Here he comes. Okay, so let's go ahead and reload quickly. This is a moment of truth right here. Because I have bait on both sides, but I'm standing right here on this one. Just go ahead and use this one to my advantage. Here he comes. The other one's at the bait already. Okay, those are my spike traps going off. Go for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Good. Okay, let's go. Uh oh, looks like the the uh, the barn is being the spike traps did not work as well as I had hoped. We still have. Oh, I can't jump off the thing. Oh, I can't jump off the damn thing. I saw openings on in the middle, but damn it. I guess they really mean it with this. Okay, so I need to go save the barn house. Barn first. Buy me time to get weapon reloaded. Let's just chop him up. Okay, and give me some rage. Okay, they're at the house. Oh, come on, one more hit. Oh, come on. Just give me, give me one more hit. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Let's head to the house quickly. There we go. Now I have his attention. Oh. Okay. I don't have any bonfire set anywhere, which is kind of a mistake on my end, I think. Okay, I need to get away enough to get a reload going. I oh, he runs too fast. Oh god! Oh, my trap's still up over there. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to trigger it. He's right behind me too. Oh, this. The running technique is not going to work. Oh my god. I have a moment. I have a moment. Three seconds. Oh my god. He's staying right underneath the damn trap. Hurry up, reload. Hurry up, reload. Oh, why, did, why didn't it go off? What is wrong with this game? <laughs> No, oh, he's raging! Go, 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 go! Oh. Damn it! I shot the trap and it didn't go down! That would have been it! That would have that would have ended it right there! It would have been a close call, but I would have won. I don't know what happened there. Awesome. Well, the game is still in beta, so I guess we'll just call it that. Um But hey! I think that's enough. Two attempts at the same. It's hard. It's not easy. Um I think even my setup there, I mean, I could go through and like reconfigure my setup again, but I'm not going to do the same content over and over again. I think twice is enough. Uh, definitely a game that's challenging. Uh, the FOV is challenging in and of itself. It's very disorienting, honestly. It's bad enough. It's, it, you know, it's great that it's dark and everything, and you're running around out in the, out in, the uh, in the forest and the snow everywhere and all that. But, but let's, let's, be, let's be real here. Like the FOV being so tight, it just kind of makes everything look very matte, and it's difficult to kind of maneuver 
uh, when everything is just like very, again, very disorienting. So it's like you're alternating back and forth between your your damn uh, your your map or your you're, you're looking at the mini map and then looking at the center and it's just like, oh, it's too much. But um, overall, fun game. It's got story. It's got a lot of voice work. Uh, you know, if you like tower defense games, this may be a game for you. For $14.99, could be released sometime this month. Uh, right now, it is available for $13.49. Uh, you can get the beta, get in on the beta uh, immediately. It downloads as if you just purchased the game, right? Uh, and uh, they're they're very active in the forums. So if you go to the forums, you can see in the Steam forums, they're replying to things and working on getting things kind of put together. Hopefully, an FOV is on that list. But uh, that's it, guys. Mike AK Phony. This is Sang Freud, Tale of Werewolves. Any for breakfast, I'll see you guys later.